The embers got their name, I named them. Now, if you talk to Bobby, he's going to say that's wrong. He said he named them. You know, so we've had an ongoing fight for 50 years about who named the embers. Ladies and gentlemen, live and in concert, direct from Raleigh, North Carolina, the hottest show group in America today. Get your hands together, for these are the fabulous embers! Jackie, without a doubt, he was one of the best vocalists out there. Best white male vocalist I've ever heard in my life. Anywhere, bar none. Nobody, I mean, I've been all over. I've seen them all. I've worked with Lou Rawls, James Brown. Nobody has that God-gifted voice like Jackie Gold. I love music, cause I was born. They had a beat that you could dance to, which was really hard to find, and harmonies. And every time I see the Embers, I have to say, they give me exactly what I want when I go out and want to hear good beach music and want to dance. We book them more than we book any other band because we know we're going to have a crowd when you, when you book the Embers. The Embers was one of three or four white bands that were just beginning to emerge in the, in the Carolinas in the late 50s. The Five J's. That was a band that preceded the Embers. And we weren't very good, but we had a good time. So I hired a black saxophone player named Doug Harrison, and he walked over in the corner and started warming up, and I had never heard anything like that. Now remember, this is 1958, and the first word is, he, he's black. I said, but it doesn't matter. We're in a band, it doesn't matter. So we hired Doug. And that's when we formed the Embers in 1958. I think the Embers had been a large part of the success of beach music. I think the Embers set the standard. I think they set it a long time ago. I think they set it probably, probably back in 67, 68 when they did Faraway Places. That set the standard for beach music and when, when beach, the term beach music came around. Beach music to me is just party and fun music. Rhythm and blues and, and feel good music. I don't think that you put it in words. This thing they call beach music now, in those days we called it soul music. It's that shuffle beat on those, on those records, on those songs that fits the shag dance. All we liked was the, the black music. And back then they didn't play that on on radio, 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 you had to find it somewhere else. And we listened to a radio station from Nashville, Tennessee called WLAC. Which was the station everybody listened to. It's, it stayed on all night long. And it was AM, but everybody would tune in that station and hear that old R&B music that we love so much. Part of the success we had after we started the Ember, when we travel at night, and we'd get that radio station and we'd hear records and we'd order them and we would learn them and nobody here had ever heard them. And I didn't find this out till later, but all the DJs sounded black and they were all white. John R. This is John R. coming to you from way down south in Dixie. Lavinia Lewis. Yeah, that thing moves, I'll tell you right now. John R. went down south in Dixie. It's all on record. WLAC, 1510 on the dial, Nashville, Tennessee. Of course, we're here every night, Monday through Saturday, laying out this good sound all around. They set the bar 40 years ago, and thank God the Embers did it, because now the Embers opened up a whole new world of entertainers. From the beginning, you see the Embers. They worked hard, they played hard, but they delivered when it became game time. Georgia! Thomas Wolfe was wrong. You can go home again. Because look, I'm back with the embers.
Every set. I wouldn't want to get my whistle wet. <laughs> 